we're in bad shape. We gotta get it together. When my life looks like this, I feel it. I feel internally like a- What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We haven't done a vlog in a while on this channel, so I feel like I've got a lot to catch you guys up on. Hanging with the squad right now with Bruce Wayne, Joey Justice back there. We just found out recently a place right near us has an unleashed dog park area. So we're gonna take the dogs there, go for a little walk, maybe get in the water. Why don't you share what you're drinking? Cold brew concoction. Just Starbucks cold brew coffee mixed with a ghost Chips Ahoy ready to drink shake, like the bottled shakes. Ready to take on today's sporting activities. We've made it to the beautiful dog park. We've got Justice on leash right now. Bruce is just kind of chilling and we've already met a couple other dogs, but we're actually not really here to meet other dogs. We just kind of want to be outside, let the guys swim. We, we may let them meet other dogs. It kind of depends on the situation. Like I usually depend on Jason to feel it out with the dogs and the owners. So like that last interaction was okay because the owners were knew what the breed was and they were kind of good to go with it. If I was here alone, I'd have both dogs on leash. I don't feel comfortable being around, you know, other dogs running Baby, around. Baby, we're down here. Huh? We're down here, I'm saying. Bruce Wayne, let's go. So we've only been here once. We hadn't gotten very far before, but we took the dog swimming. So we might venture off a little bit further, go for a little bit of a walk and then let the dogs get in the water. Kinds of swimming spots, huh? I mean, maybe awkward, but almost anxious in a way sometimes when I haven't vlogged in a while. I, I literally feel like if you don't use it, you lose it in a way where I just, the less I film, the more I'm like, well, what do I film? What do I talk about? What do, I get more in my head. So I'm just gonna try to quit being in my head so much and just film more. And so I'm just putting that out into the world because I always do like to give a random apology when I haven't been uploading regularly because I do, despite all that I have on my plate, it's really important for me to be consistent for you guys and to like the YouTube channel is always my priority in terms of other little side hustles, if you will, outside of my day job. This is always my priority. Maybe it doesn't look like it at times, but I want to continue to make sure I'm providing you guys with solid content. So if you have ideas for what you'd like to see from me, I just asked this over on my Instagram stories, but please comment below what your favorite videos are of mine or what you'd like to see more of. And also what length of video do you prefer? Cause I do feel like with TikTok and I do want to start doing more like dietitian things over on TikTok because I know everyone's attention spans probably really short and I've probably already like passed the time, the threshold here with what I've been chatting about. But let me know if you prefer a certain length of time for videos on YouTube. If you guys are watching TikTok, if you enjoy TikTok content, let me know. Let me let these dogs in cause they hot. I know there was a lot of suspicion with me going to Houston the other weekend. If you're in my Discord group, if you are a Buff Bunny Collection fan or you like the brand, you would love my Discord group. So I will leave that link in the chat, in the chat box, in the description box. If you wanna join us over there, there's like 400 of us girls and it's actually really quite amazing. I just have so much fun chatting in there every day. And it's not even always about Buff Bunny Collection, but there's different, rooms and things that we chat about. So I've really been loving that, but the Discord girls knew I was going, they knew I was going to Houston. I didn't really announce it anywhere else, but it was not a secret. But I know some people were like, suspicious if I was the next Buff Bunny collab. And I just wanna say, I love that you all wish that for me, manifest that for me and put that out into the world. It literally would be a dream. So I will just keep manifesting that and appreciate you all for thinking that. 
But I did go down there. Heidi and I had been planning a trip for a while for a few videos that we did together. I am so, so grateful for her. I do feel like she gave me a little fire back in my tummy for content creation. And I just always appreciate how generous she is. And so she invited me down to collaborate with her for her YouTube channel. And we had a lot of fun. We did two videos together, so I'm not sure when those will be uploaded, but I hope you guys do as my Corey crew go on over when she posts those videos and show me some love. It was a lot of fun. And then we did some TikToks as well. She did post one of the TikToks already. I haven't been good on TikTok, but like I said, it kind of, she gave me a lot of insight with TikTok and I do wanna dabble in it a bit more. So that was really why I was down there and she had Cassie down there as well. So I got to meet her and hang out with her and we just had a lot of fun. It was a really great weekend, so. I got a lot of tea on Buff Bunny Collection, and none of which I can really share at this time, but I will say there are so many things coming up that I'm very excited for. The team never disappoints me in terms of their ability to continue to recreate and have upcoming launches that, are, that get me excited, even though I've been working with a brand for so long. So I'm excited for you all to see what's coming, but enough on that. The dogs had a fantastic day with Jason and I. We did a lot of outdoor time with them, playing with them. You saw a little bit of footage at the dog park. So they are all laying low for the evening. Jason went to get a massage. I'm about to go for a run, which I haven't been running. I kind of, I'm going to tell on myself a bit. I had my 10 mile race at the beginning of May. It was May 1st, actually. Today is the end of May now. It's May 29th and I've fallen off the wagon. I, not intentionally, it was just, you know, having that goal of that race, it kept me in a no excuse mindset, which was, I'm learning to find that's what I need. I need to have these scheduled goals and really push myself to stick with my goals. It gets very challenging when you're managing multiple things and we all can sit here with the same excuses, right? And I know we have the same 24 hours in a day, but I do have other priorities and, and it's okay that sometimes you prioritize other things. So I knew I was gonna have a busy few weeks and Jason and I are traveling to Nashville this upcoming weekend. So I just wanna get some cardio in because when I do cardio, I feel my best. I also don't think people should never do cardio. I think that kind of got glamorized a bit, like eat all these calories and never do cardio or else you're doing something wrong. And that's not the case. Cardio is so good for our heart, for our cardiovascular system, regardless of how in shape or out of shape you are, we should be incorporating some cardio activity into our lives, which I have been good about. Wearing my tracking watch, I walked tons of steps in Houston, like anywhere I went, I walked when I was there. So I've been getting a lot of mileage in, in terms of just being active and moving, which is good. It doesn't have to be on a treadmill or in a gym. But I want to go get a run in. My sister and I do have plans to do another race in July. So it's about the same distance. It's a 15K, which ends up being 9.3 miles, but it's a really fun race. So I'm excited to do a race with her and just, I want to stay on top of the mileage and keep working on my long runs. So yeah, I'm gonna probably, I'm wearing the, uh, well, let me show you my outfit. My room is a total disaster, but I'm gonna change because I don't think I wanna run in the score. I'm wearing the Buff Bunny Collection uh, bossy print in the Rosa V2 bra, and then I have the skirt on, the succulent score in matching. See that mess behind me? That is why I haven't been filming. That is why I've been all over the place because when my room looks like this, you know it's hot mess express caracory is what you're getting but anyways i am going to change i'm going to go for a run and it's memorial day weekend so i have tomorrow off i think jay and i are just going to relax we started oh this camera's heavy we started stranger things so i really like that we might just hang out and watch that tonight um but maybe i'll also uh clean up my friggin life okay makeup yeah <laughs> Yep, yep, oh boy. That's the Boston trip right there. We went to Massachusetts to visit my brother. Oh, 
It's bad. It's bad right now. We're in bad shape. We gotta get it together. When my life looks like this, I feel it. I feel internally like a mess and I feel just like blocked from being able to feel good. So step one, go for a run because that'll clear my mind and then I may do a little organizing too. I just wanted to share that I did go out and I did a three mile run. I've got kind of a nice loop near where I live. Took it real easy just because it's hot out and I haven't ran in a bit, but it felt really good. Glad to get it done. Just wanted to share with you guys what I'm meal prepping because we head off to Nashville on Thursday. Today's Memorial Day, so I only have to work two days this week, which makes it very easy and like low stress to prep for. I don't know, two days is so much easier. So, but I also wanted to be cognizant of what I already have in the fridge, not to waste food, but make sure I eat some veggies before I go. So I thought I'd share with you what I have planned and I'm gonna just whip up a couple quick things, but you guys love my simple meal ideas. So just to share, um, the number one thing I do every single day is my protein coffee. That's just, my favorite thing when I don't have it, like when I was in Houston and even Boston, I was missing it. It ruins all other coffees. So for me, my favorite has been the Ghost Oreo Whey Protein. I use one full scoop of that, so it's 25 carbs, no, seven carbs, 25 grams of protein and two fat. I do use an organic grass-fed milk with it, so it ends up being like 20-ish carbs, um, like five, six grams of fat maybe. And then I add to it the cold brew coffee, about 12 ounces of that, and it is absolutely the best. It's, I just love starting my day with that, so. And way cheaper than going to actual Starbucks. It has saved me so much money, if you. 40 ounces is 5.30. Yep, so you get three 12 ounce servings in here. You get well, three for less than the price of one. That would cost at least $15. Right. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, you have to factor in, I guess, the cost of the protein I add to it, but I don't get protein well, I'm just saying, Starbucks I'm anyways. just saying straight up cold brew. Cold brew, Because cold now brew. if you're getting a specialty drink, it ain't just $5. Right. If you're getting like True. stuff added to it, yeah. you're adding another three or four. It adds up, you guys. So like a drink that you make would literally cost yeah. about $7. Oh, let me just show the creamer I've been using too. I like using the sugar-free white mocha, but it's hard to find, but Jay and I also found this. It is, there's a lot going on in here. Willy Wonka, zero sugar, fudgy caramel, caramel. I don't really taste the caramel in it, do you? No. It's just kind of like adds like a little chocolatey tone to it. You actually don't even need it with the protein because it's sweet, but I do add a splash to add like a little bit more creaminess. Let me just show you the milk I use too in case you care. Some people will ask. Um, huge difference using regular cow's milk. This is organic, 2% reduced fat milk, grass fed versus almond milk. This adds all the creaminess to it and I don't have any issues with dairy intolerance. So for me, I don't mind using regular cow's milk. You know what I'm saying? I feel like no one uses regular milk anymore. It's like not cool or something. Some protein snacks. I do try to not rely on protein snacks, but also busy week and traveling. I find them very helpful. So protein chips, we've got the ranch flavor. These are really good. I try not to eat them, but I like having them with me as backup. What's your protein snack consumption? I have, I have about one a day, sometimes two. One protein snack. Do you count like the protein coffee? I don't count. I count this as food. What do you guys count as? She counts as a supplement. Are you used to? I've always yeah. counted whey protein. As like a food source. As actual basically. food source. Yeah, yeah. Because if you're counting this as a food source, yeah. why isn't this a food source? No, it is. It's all food. I just feel like, don't you feel like, all right, I feel like sometimes people like look down on you if you have too many like protein substitutes. Yeah. You've kind of like seen that before. I remember like during prep, that was kind of like a no-no from coaches getting more of your food from Whole Food, which makes sense. But in everyday life for me, being busy on the go, this is what sets me up for success. So I, I prefer and encourage you to set you up for what makes you successful. I would say I always have my protein coffee and then I maybe have chips or a protein bar. So you, try not to have both, but there are days so where yeah, I have both. I don't count the whey protein just because it's more straight whey. Yeah. 
And then something like these. Like when I was in Houston, more, I, did, I had one, there was one yeah. day where I ate two protein bars. But, but you know what? I try not to do that, but. To your defense, you've been eating more protein because of the protein coffee. Dude. Your body yeah. has, you literally, his I've physique. have responded well to it, Your right? physique has literally changed over the yeah. past few months when you started lifting with this dude holding this camera. And it also, I feel like the more that I've been consistent with my protein intake, it's been easier for me to consistently eat protein and seek it out at each meal. And I know some of you will relate to that because it's common I hear from my clients protein is a struggle for them. And I actually am going to do a separate video talking about how to more easily get protein into your diet because I know so many people struggle. Uh, the more I've been consistent with starting out my day with protein and having good protein sources and even just switching it up, I've been really good about being consistent. Like at nighttime, I don't want to just eat carbs or be lazy and eat a bowl of cereal and go to bed. I'm usually like wanting some kind of protein. And also the benefit of your coffee, like your coffee is a legit meal. Yeah. You get 25 grams of protein. Yeah. You're getting about 20 carbs. 20 carbs. And about six grams of fat. Yeah. Eight grams of fat. Yeah. You're, it's like a legit it meal. It is. It is. That's so why. So like you start your day with like compared to what you used to do where you yeah. wouldn't eat in the morning. Right. So. I like that. So yeah. Set yourself up for success. I did grab some other protein things. I don't normally grab these, but because Jay and I are traveling, I just wanted to have some easy stuff to go. So Power Crunch bars. These I just tried for the first time. My sister recommended them legendary foods brown sugar cinnamon flavored tasty pastry so it's trying to be like a mock pop tart but it does not taste anything like a pop tart but it is really thick and cakey so it kind of tastes like a cookie but like like a gas station cookie. like a gas station cookie like a subpar cookie but good enough to like taste good yeah. Does that make sense? And the macros are pretty decent on 180 calories, eight grams of fat, uh, 24 carbs, 20 grams of protein. There is erythritol in it, but I didn't find I had any issues with it. 12 grams of erythritol? Yeah, too much for my belly. I definitely would not eat more than one of these in a day ever. Actual whole foods, my protein source, I'm keeping it simple this week. I've been really into, I go back and forth. We buy the 99 lean turkey, but I've been really liking 94 lean turkey. Sometimes I like to do lean beef, but the lean turkey has just been really hitting the spot for me. So I'm switching it up and cooking that up. And I've been loving cooking that up. We're just taking a handful, like two big handfuls of spinach with either a little avocado oil or spray or coconut oil, cooking it down together to get a little veg in. And then we do just the easy jasmine rice. We have the bag jasmine rice up there too, but these are great for in a hurry, kind of quick meals. I don't want to spend too much time on meal prep. So I'll mix those three together, the rice, the spinach, the turkey. It's delicious with a little bit of coconut oil. It's been very satisfying. I've also got some mini avocados left that I will finish up. I like adding those to a meal that I just mentioned. It just love avocado, nice and creamy. Ooh, and garlic too. Been doing a nice little heaper of chopped garlic in there to make it nice and tasty. So we're gonna cook that up. I'm gonna do just a basic salad because it's warm out now and I've been craving like crispy, crunchy salads. So I've grabbed some spring mix, just some mini cucumbers. I'm gonna keep it simple with the salad. Some little tomatoes. These are Sugar Bombs. They're Wegmans brand, but I think you can find them anywhere. If you like grape tomatoes, but you like them a little sweeter, Suggest the sugar bombs if you can find them. They're really tasty. So that'll go in there and then a green pepper. That'll be my salad. Let me share with you the dressing I've been liking. I tried taking out all my condiments. I forgot ahead of time. This looks a little goopy, but this is from Trader Joe's. It's the carrot ginger miso dressing. I really love this one because it's kind of chunky. Like the carrots in there are actually pureed into it. The first ingredient is carrots. So that makes up the bulk of this. And then there's a ginger puree in there. Oh yeah, it kind of hardens once it's in there. You gotta really shake it up good. But it's just like a really thick, I mean, that probably just looks nasty, but it's really good if you like carrots and ginger combined. Just like chunky and fresh and tasty. Uh, macros on that dressing are six fat, two carbs, zero protein. Um, where's the fat even come from? There's a little canola oil in there. 
Um, da, da, da. Then I just want to do some cooked vegetables too because I like cooked vegetables. So to keep it easy on myself, I just grabbed this pepper, pepper onion fajita blend. I'm going to cook that on the stove top with just a little basil and probably a little garlic and some seasoning for some cooked veg. Also been craving some slaw. I'm actually going to cook this up on the stove top with a, a little bit of garlic and teriyaki to make a stir fry that I'll also add my turkey to. And then for other snacks, I just grabbed some Siggy's Greek yogurt. This is one of my favorite snacks to bring to work with me. And some fresh fruit. Jason got us all caught up here with some fresh strawberries and pineapple. Not a bad option. I usually suggest this like for people. So the video I did with Heidi just went live as I was cooking some foods here. So this is the first video Heidi and I did where we went through her pantry, like literally went through everything and she has got a ton of food. So it was kind of like purposely, I was being a little bit more judgmental just to make it funny. I think it came out really good. So hope you guys go watch that. And then we have another one uh, that we did together that she'll be posting as well. Look at this, you guys. Cleaned my room i'm very proud of myself got everything organized put away and uh now i've got to start packing for nashville what's up bruce wayne what's up buds so i'm gonna get myself packed up for nashville but i wanted to share with you guys a couple little pieces that i grabbed um whole fam's here i do need to get packed for nashville that's one of my goals is to start packing tonight i had picked up a few pieces from lulu's I don't know if you guys have shopped there or not. I was super impressed. I did uh, express shipping, which I think was like guaranteed in three days. I ordered it literally at two in the afternoon on a Thursday and it was at my house the following day at like 11 a.m. It came in less than 24 hours. I have no idea how that worked out, but very much impressed with their shipping in case you were curious and their prices I didn't think were too bad either. So I want to share with you the few looks that I got and you can let me know what your favorite is. Also Camp Anawana on my t-shirt. Let me know if you know what that's from. Okay, so this is outfit number one. It's just this long dress with a little cutout here. It's very form fitting. I'm glad I got it in a size small. Extra small would have been way too tight for what I like. But I think it's really cute. I just paired it with some tennis sneakers just to kind of like dress it down. Would obviously look cute with sandals or heels too, but I just like more of the casual look. And even though I'm really short, I'm only five foot two, I like a longer line kind of dress. Dress number two, this is a little bit fancier of a dress, kind of a long sleeve flowy maxi dress. A little slit up front and very open lower back. I actually had bought this for Boston, but then it felt too fancy for what we were doing. So I think I'll bring this to Nashville with me. I also got these shoes. If I can show you. So these shoes are also from Lulu's. You can tie them a bunch of different ways. I just did like a little bow in the front here. It's probably a better way to show you. Not wearing a bra with this dress, which I think is probably how I'd keep it. Let me know what you think of this dress. I think it's really pretty. I just think I need the right occasion to wear it. And probably not with a ponytail. This item, this wasn't a huge haul. I'm trying to not go overboard on clothes, but uh, just this little sweater it's like a sweater tank, a little like turtleneck kind of tank. I don't know why, but I like stuff like this. This was actually final sale. Just threw it on with some jean shorts that I have from Lovely and Blush. Probably look cuter with sandals, but it was like 15 bucks, not bad at all. So I thought that was really cute. So that was my whole haul, just two dresses, the little tank top and some shoes, but I would definitely shop there again if you've never checked out their site. Like I feel like their prices are reasonable. They have like a lot of kind of trending pieces, but also really kind of classy pieces too. Let me know what your favorite 
piece was. All right guys, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. I hope you enjoyed the return of Karakori Vlogs. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. Make sure you are subscribed, hit that post notification bell. I will likely be doing a few videos in Nashville, so let me know what you wanna see. Maybe a travel full day of eating, maybe a little collab. So make sure you stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.